The Product Rule, Level 2. In this video, we will go over more challenging examples that require the use of the product rule. The following examples require you to really understand the product rule and combine it with various algebra and calculus concepts learned so far. The first type of problems involves writing an expression for the derivative in terms of the given functions. Let's take a look at the first example. If p of x and q of x are differentiable functions, find an expression for the derivative of the following function, r of x equals p of x times q of x. Notice that in this example, we're given the function r of x, which is written in terms of two other functions, in this case, p of x and q of x. The problem is asking us to find the derivative of this function. At first glance, it might be a little weird that we are asked to find the derivative of r of x, written in this manner. It does not seem to contain any constants, power functions, or natural exponential functions. All we know is that r of x is defined by the product of p of x and q of x. This means that we need to somehow work with these expressions and find the derivative. Since r of x is defined by a product of two functions, it is natural to apply the product rule to find the derivative of r of x. So we will assign p of x as a first function and q of x as a second function. With these assignments, we go ahead and apply the product rule. The derivative of r of x is going to be equal to p of x times q prime of x plus q of x times p prime of x. And this is the final derivative. At first, it might be hard to wrap your head around this. If we knew what p of x and q of x was equal to, we would still find the derivative in this manner. All we are doing here is finding an expression for the derivative of r of x, which was defined by two distinct functions, p of x and q of x. If we knew what p of x and q of x were equal to, then we would just substitute them into our expression. In this case, we just want a general expression for the derivative. Let's try another example. If p of x and q of x are differentiable functions, find an expression for the derivative of the following function, r of x equals x squared times q of x plus p of x. All right, notice that we now have a function r of x defined by a power function along with the functions q of x and p of x. Similar to the previous example, we are asked to find an expression for the derivative. So we go ahead and take the derivative of this function term by term. For the first term, we have a product of two functions, in this case, x squared and q of x. Since we have a product of two functions, we need to apply the product rule. We're going to assign x squared as the first function and q of x as the second function. Applying the product rule, we obtain x squared times q prime of x plus q of x times 2x. Next, we move along to the second term. The derivative of the second term is just going to be equal to p prime of x. Rearranging the expressions, we obtain the final derivative equal to x squared times q prime of x plus 2x times q of x plus p prime of x. Once again, this expression represents the derivative of r of x in terms of q of x and p of x. If we knew what p of x and q of x were equal to, we would just substitute them directly into this expression. All right, let's try one more example. If p of x and q of x are differentiable functions, find an expression for the derivative of the following function. r of x equals q of x over x plus e to the x times p of x plus 5x. Similar to the previous examples, let's go ahead and find the derivative of this expression. This function is defined by three distinct terms. The first term contains the function q of x and the rational function 1 over x. In order to find the derivative of this term, we need to rewrite it into a derivative-friendly form. In this case, we can rewrite it 
as q of x times x raised to the power of negative 1. Now we can go ahead and apply the product rule with q of x as a first function and x raised to the power of negative 1 as a second function. Applying the product rule, we obtain the following expression. Next, we move along and find the derivative of the second term. Here, we also have a product of two functions. In this case, the natural exponential function times p of x. So we go ahead and apply the product rule with e to the x as our first function and p of x as our second function. Applying the product rule, we obtain the following expression. Lastly, we find the derivative of 5x, which is just equal to 5. Simplifying and rearranging the terms, we obtain the final expression for the derivative, which is equal to negative q of x over x squared plus q prime of x over x plus e to the x times p prime of x plus e to the x times p of x plus 5. All right. Now let's try a completely different type of problem. Suppose g of 2 equals 3, g prime of 2 equals negative 2, h of 2 equals negative 1, and h prime of 2 equals 4. Use this information to find f prime of 2, where f of x equals g of x times h of x. Notice that we are given values for the functions g and h and the respective derivatives evaluated at x equals 2. Also, we are given that f of x is equal to the product of g of x and h of x. This problem is asking us to find the derivative of f evaluated at x equals 2. Note that some textbooks might ask you this question by using the following equivalent forms. The derivative of g times h evaluated at x equals 2. Both expressions denote the fact that we are looking for the derivative of g of x times h of x evaluated at x equals 2. Alright, at first, this problem might seem confusing. But, the idea is to first find the derivative of f of x. Once we have an expression for the derivative in terms of g of x, g prime of x, h of x, and h prime of x, we go ahead and evaluate the derivative at x equals 2 using the information that is provided to us. So let's go ahead and first find the derivative of f of x. Since this function is formed by a product of two other functions, we make use of the product rule. f prime of x is going to be equal to g of x times h prime of x plus h of x times g prime of x. Having found the derivative, we go ahead and evaluate the derivative at x equals 2, as follows. The next step is to replace the values of g of 2 and g prime of 2 with 3 and negative 2 respectively, and replace h prime of 2 and h of 2 with 4 and negative 1 respectively. Then, it is just a matter of simplifying the expression. Doing this, we obtain the final answer equal to 14. These types of problems requires you to first find the derivative of the function in terms of the given functions, then use the information that is provided to evaluate the derivative at a given value of x. Let's try another example. If f of x equals e to the x times h of x, where h of 0 equals 5 and h prime of 0 equals 2, find f prime of 0. All right. Here we need to find the derivative of f evaluated at x equals 0. Notice that this function is formed by the product of the natural exponential function and h of x. Similar to the previous example, let's first find an expression for the derivative of f of x. Applying the product rule, we obtain e to the x times h prime of x plus h of x times e to the x. Remember, the derivative of the natural exponential function is just equal to itself. Now let's find the derivative of f evaluated at x equals 0. Notice that we have values for both h of 0 and h prime of 0. So we go ahead and substitute those values into our expression. We also want to evaluate the natural exponential function at x equals 0. Doing that, we obtain the following. 
The final step is to simplify the numerical expression, obtaining 7 as your final answer. These types of problems might seem a little intimidating at first, but as long as you understand that we're just looking for the derivative in terms of other functions, then the entire problem just becomes a standard find the derivative problem. The only difference is that you're given values of the function at given values of x. All right. In our next video, we will go over problems that require us to use graphs to find the derivative of a given function.